Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Outward. So, we've made it, I think, to the dungeon, which will allow us to go do the thing, which will allow us to get mana so that we can go then learn spells. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It occurred to me, and some of the comments kind of lead me in this direction as well, that do's my unarmed build combined with uh, learning magic, I could go in the direction of either like a lure fixer from uh, Project Moon, Ruiner, and uh, Limbus, and that'd be pretty cool, or with the hat and general traveling fighting style, I could lean towards, if it exists, lightning magic and be like Raiden from fucking Mortal Kombat. So I've got some fun ideas I could go with, I'm looking forward to it all, but first I need to rest because I have less than half health. Those bandits fucked me up. I need a minute. I just need a minute. I just need a moment. A few moments later. I reckon that'll do, because I probably, probably won't get jumped the moment I walk in there. I don't know, we'll see. Heroic Kingdom's Conflux Path. Let's have a fucking look. I want to get some fucking spells. I hope there aren't any more Rock Mantises. I don't think I can deal with more. One was enough. It wasn't even necessary either. I'm gonna get my bow out, just in case. I already see a person, and I'm like, I don't know if I want any of your business, sir. It's actually quite nice in here. It's a nice place. Oh, look, there's an improvised bedroll, so I could sleep if need be. Is that crackling with sexual energy, or just electric in general? I think it's just electric in general, but I've got my eye on it. Explorer land. Yeah, that's mine. Thank you. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, fucking shit. <laughs> I thought we could have dialogue, sir. Guess not. You will go down. Wherever you are, you will die. <laughs> Good lord, I switch. Yeah, I got that impre- Oh my god, it has a wizard magic hat. Okay, so them's a little scary, as it turns out. Uh, a little bit of a problem there, a little a little concerning, uh, what with the ice spells and stuff and ice magic. Get you a girl who can do ice magic. It goes through my bag though, which is pretty funny. Okay, so contrary to what I thought, I did actually run into trouble as soon as I walked in here. So that's something. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a sneak through here. Are there any more ice witches? Uh, witches. I would rather uh, get the drop on them rather than they get the drop on me. Is that a troglodyte over there? Something spooky, whatever it is. I can turn off my lantern because it's pretty... Oh my god. Are you going for me? Do you want some of this, Squire? Yeah, you do. Alright, we can go. I need to be a little more careful, though. Oh god, you have a spellcaster support character. <laughs> it's not fair, you have a pie. I just have me and my fists. That's not good. 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 I'm not regenerating nearly fast enough. It's all right. Down he go. Oh, that was close. Uh, pardon me for but a moment, sir, whilst I bandage myself. I forgot that it's healing over time and not instant, so I'm just gonna kind of hide! <laughs> Don't mind me! <laughs> Your life magic frightens me! Might need to go back upstairs and sleep. Actually get a full heal, because attempting to continue like this seems... reckless. Oh my god, he threw a grenade! Ah, there was a trap! Oh god, I, have, I died because there was a trap! that I couldn't have possibly have seen, and my bag is still down there. Ugh. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit dangerous down there. Okay, right, yeah, I get it. Pain racks your body as you wake up from your injury. Your foes have left you for dead, but linger nearby. With intense effort and sheer desperation, you manage to drag yourself back to the entrance to this place where you fall unconscious once more. It is hours before you regain consciousness. You are beaten and bloody but alive. You will wear these scars for quite some time. You curse your recklessness and vow to be more prepared for danger in the future. Indeed. Indeed, 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 I'm alive. A day has passed. Bandages and my backpack. Thank God for that. Okay, well, let's try this again, shall we? Got it this time. Some bitch-ass motherfucker down here throwing bombs and shit. Not on my watch. I see him over there with his stupid face. 
That's a horrible shade of green, and you have a weird hunchback, and your face is ridiculous. I'm charging. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Troglodyte Grenadier. <laughs> I believe it. So I have to be careful, because there are traps down here. Am I poisoned? Is that a poison effect? Take one decay damage per second. Do I have... I have antidote, don't I? Yes. Good. Okay, right. Well, I fixed that problem. I should get to my bag. But so far, I'm not dead, and that's pretty good. And I'm not dead. I already died once, but I'm not dead right now. So that's pretty good. Happy with that. Could be worse. I'm going to eat an egg. Everyone knows it's good. For when you have suffered damage from poison to eat an egg. There's another one. Do you fucking give me a minute, squire? I was going to draw my fucking uh, bow, but that's obviously not an option now. How'd you like all of this that I'm bringing? Yeah! 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 Now that's a combo. Mushroom halberd. I've stolen it. And a star mushroom. Can I turn the mushroom halberd into something else? Can I break it down? Can I break the walls down? Break down the walls? Not from the looks of it, no. Oh, it inflicts poison. Luckily, he didn't poison me, but it can do that. Okay, I should be careful. Oh my god, what are you? What? How many things are in this place? What is this even? I technically blocked your spell. There we go, I knocked him over. Now get him. Just... I don't understand you, and you must perish as a result. Arcane Elemental, yeah. Got that impression. Bag of weight, yeah, I just wanted to drop the fucking halberd, goddamn. No one's given me any time to do anything. And that is a halberd, yes, but there is a chest. Ah, oh, I see, yes. Game thought I was going for the treasure, when in actuality I was just running for my life. It's an interesting place, though. It's all built up. What could this have been once upon a time? A mine, perhaps? Or something more grandiose? Junk pile? I fucking love small sapphires, firefly powder, and bug eggs. Did my Solaris bugs, perhaps, live here once? I don't want to go down that yet. I want to see what's over here, because apparently there are some things. There are multiple leaves. I don't like it. That This looks like a puzzle. I don't like poozles. Oh, you're a spellcaster. Well, how about you come over here instead of, you know, casting your spells over there like a bitch. I'm a street fighter, don't you know? I'm here to do righteous combat. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Now we beat on him. Give me your lunch money. I'll take your spells. Got some kind of nerd ass spell book on you? No, just nerd rocks. Ugh, ugh, those scary humans are gonna take my nerd rocks. Ugh, whatever. More nerd rocks. Where did I put my bag? I put it here. Imagine if I took that strange, rusted, obviously legendary sword and just broke it down into iron scraps. It'd be pretty funny. It'd kind of be a baller move, but. Smart? No. Not quite. I think I saw another arcane elemental over here, so I am going to be careful. It might have just been that spell casty boy. That troglodyte noid. Mo Ow! 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 Ah! I need to be more careful. Soldier's corpse. He has shoes, iron scraps, and a plank shield. This dude never stood a chance. Fucking hell. I don't need the shield, but the rest of it's potentially useful. What do these even do? Oh, I see. What does this do? What, what does this do? You have to tell me. Why do you have two levers for the same 
it was probably a bug fixing issue, let's be real. I'll scrap those raggy boots because linen cloth is helpful. Can make more bandages if need be, and I probably will need them because I'm taking quite a few injuries. Mostly trap based. I'm bad with traps. This actually feels like we're in a proper dungeon now. Like that troglodyte cave I took out before was little baby shit. Like that was not a big, big deal. That wasn't a big boy place. This is a big boy place. There are multiple paths. There's traps. There was that arcane elemental, which scared the crap out of me. What perchance is through these dank corridors? I, are you? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. oh, you're stupid. Oh, fuck. Am I the stupid? I could be. I'm going to take my bag off. Also, nice to know that the traps are reusable. Apparently. Down you go. The other one died. That's good. What do you got on you? Linen cloth? I love it. That's literally all I wanted. Ah, spell boy. He got himself killed. Good. I need to be very careful, though. That trap has claimed two people, and it shan't claim a third. Or it might. It will if I'm not careful. Star Mushroom. Doesn't appear to be anything scary in here. Take those materials. Uh, That certainly is a statue. There's not really anything up here, is there? Just It was just fighting, and you don't get experience for fighting enemies in this game. Just loot, and the loot was mid. Oh, wait, there's more. Hold up. I was about to start really whinging and whining in that way that I do. But, might be a little bit more going on here. Is that bedroll? Ooh. And that is presumably, yeah, the one I just took up here. Okay, so there was nothing of value up here, really. Allow me to continue my rant of being outraged that I came up here and risked my life for fucking nothing. You know what? It's fine. Just don't get hit by the fucking trap on your way out, Foreman. I swear to God. I already fear that some people on the internet may perhaps suspect that my intellectual proficiency ain't all that, so I really need to prove them wrong, you know, by not stumbling into a trap I've already identified. It's very important to me. Not to you, but it is to me. Thought there was another magic person down here and I was getting scared. Thing is, I swear I wasn't that close to the chest when it went off, but... I mean, I, get, I was running for my life, so I must have just stumbled into it by accident. How ironic that running for my life was precisely what killed me. Oh, this doesn't have a... Oh. Oh no, is this some form of poozle? Or we just go this way? Or have I already been this way? I don't think I've been this way. I think that, that lift is just a shortcut to get back up. I thought there was a spider and I freaked slightly, but quietly. You might have noticed the camera jutter ever so slightly and it's because it was my hand. It does not open from here. Well, indeed. Yes, I would assume. In fact, opens from the other side. Yes. Perchance might there be a way to get through this thing. I'll be back once my smooth brain figures it out. So, anywhere but... Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! I hate adventuring. I should have stayed at home and been a fisherman. Ah! Oh, God damn it! That actually made me jump. There are so many traps down here. I have to take it very sl climb rope. Oh, this is how I get down. Okay. I have to take this place agonizingly slowly to stop getting hit by these fucking traps. I've almost used all of my bandages, which is a point, actually. I should probably make some more. I pre- I, It's not me complaining about the game. There should be traps down here, and there should be perilous, and I should be careful. But I'll complain about it in the sense that I've been perforated multiple times and have bled a lot. These are mana stones, yes? Would, would seem to be, yes. If only I had a pickaxe. If only I could make a pickaxe. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, and they know... Ah! And they know spells. 
This is a pro- <laughs> This is a- This is a problem. Oh, and they're durable as well. Oh, and they're durable as well. I'm not sure I can handle this. Oh, I'm not sure I can handle this. Being outnumbered is already such a disadvantage. I'm healing, but very fucking slowly. All right, well, I'm not out of options entirely, am I? Surely I can just pick up my bag. Retreat and you know reassess, reevaluate. I don't have to just bash my head against it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So two mana mantises, mantises, mantai down there. It's a problem. It is. We need some time to recover, but we also need time to come up with a battle plan. Now my plan against the first rock mantis I went up against at the top of this mountain was good, but it's worth pointing out that that was only one, and there are multiple down here. At least two. And through my brilliant powers of deduction, I can confirm that I don't have any uh, little rope trap thingies that I can put spikes in, so... That's... that's a problem. What can I make? What am I smart enough to make? Not a lot, as it turns out. Okay, brilliant. All right, cool. I know you can just mash ingredients together and you can figure out recipes that way, but I don't really want to do that. But I can't just run down there willy-nilly. I need a plan. I'm a pretty good street fire. I'm a pretty good fist guy, world warrior, punch artist, but I can't fight two giant bugs at once. Not reliably, anyway. Maybe the solution is more simple than I, I'm making it out to be. Maybe just put poison on one of my weapons and uh, deal with them that way. I think that's my best bet, to be honest, would be to just play defensive, uh, afflict them with a status bite. I didn't mean to, I don't want to, uh, scary, no. Yeah, just afflict them with some kind of status, or status, or whatever, however you want to pronounce that word, and then wait them out. Land a couple jabs here and there to just re-afflict poison, and try and kill them. I like this, this is actually a dungeon, it's actually kind of dangerous. I'm having to be careful and think about things. Have some Garberry Tartine. Oh, yes. Okay, so the plan, such as it is, we've got poison arrows equipped, so I can actually use that. And we go down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see, you see. A little more carefully. I presume they won't be act. Oh, God, they're right here. Oh, fuck. I wasn't ready. Okay, new plan. Drop bag up here, where it is safe, where it won't get taken or something. Equip poison rags. Two fists. Yes. Get down there. And oh my god, that's terrifying. You know what? If you're going to be stuck up there, then I'm going to go deal with the other one. On guard, fuckface. Yeah. Who says I don't know how to exploit a game? Implying that that was on purpose, which it really wasn't. There we go. You found your way down, I see. Prepare to die. You're gonna, you're gonna cast a spell, that's fine. I just want to afflict him with poison, really. I did not mean to swing that many times. This close, uh, this, this, this fucking uh, claustrophobic environment does not serve my combat style very well. My fist weapon is getting a little, uh, a little damaged. Down he goes. Okay, cool. Good. Right. Success. God, I hope those are the only ones down here, and I fucking bet they aren't. Ugh. I thought I was done with the bugs. I thought there would be no more bugs. I thought, I hoped. I was like, troglodytes, they can be pretty tough. The ones down here are tougher, but I can deal with them. But not bugs. Mana mantis, insect husk, and mana stone. Uh, these are good things. 
Tiny aquamarine. These are things to sell. Dead person. Astral potion and food. Honestly, that's pretty useful. I do have a backup weapon, of course. I have my sword. So, if the fist weapon does break, it's not the end of the world. But I do prefer my fist weapon. Don't really want to lose it. Blood mushroom. Sure, why not? Mushroom of blood. This is literally a fucking generator. Uh-huh. Okay, yep. Yeah, that is definitely what that is. What I'm not seeing, and this upsets me greatly, by the way, is a means of progression. I appear to have come down here for no reason. Then again, I didn't get to explore very much, did I, before I was jumped? Oh, God, please tell me that there is actually a reason to come down here and it's not just to fight two bugs. Oh, God. What if I punch the generator? Oh, God, no. I see something spooky over there. That's a skeleton. That's an actual skeleton. Oh, I must defeat him in battle. Three hours later. Aha, I've done it. Okay, good. Yes, it took some finagling, but I did it. I fucking hate puzzles. I hate puzzles so much. And as far as I can tell, I did not need to go where those fucking mana mantises were. I really fucking didn't. Is that a skeleton? Oh, you know it is. Crazy. How brave of them to put a skeleton in their video game. I'm going to be very fucking careful now. Yeah, because I can see there's a trap right there. I don't want none of it. No. Imagine if the game's like, congratulations, you're back at the top of the mountain, smiley face. And there's another rock mantis here. Uh, video game is a, oh, okay, I go this way. Oh, I was about to get real fucking pissed because I was gonna be like, I can't climb that. <laughs> I did all of that for nothing. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Continue keeping an eye out for traps. And hostiles. Come to think of it, also hostiles. Move mentality whilst traversing this area. If it moves, it dies. If it is any way living or animated, it dies. No ifs, no buts. It dies. If it dies, then kill it again to make sure it is definitely dead. Blue Chamber's complex path. Sure. Aha. Got your face. Was it necessary? Probably not, but it was pretty funny. There's a lot of troglodytes, actually. Apparently there are combos you can do, and I haven't thought to try them yet. Ooh. Oh, hello, sir. Don't you dare cast a spell. Who the fuck do you think you are? You, you will die. Your power over gravity cannot save you. Your mastery of gravity cannot save you. Get down here and fight me. Fight me. You can't utilize the terrain to your advantage. That's not fair. You can't then use it to cast healing spells. Get down here and let me kill you. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, you're so dead when I unlive you, which will be now. Soon now. There we go. What an absolute troglodyte. It's funny because he's a troglodyte. I don't know what mana stones are for, but I suspect I'm going to need them. Where is my bag? Where did I even put it? It's over here. Big success. So I'm in pain and I've been bewitched or something. I don't know. This is quite a room. I don't see any traps, but I'm still going to approach it from the side like a psychopath. Iron sword, potions. Can't get through there. Okay, well, there's only one path to go then. Hey. These, these spells better be worth it. Let me tell you, these better be some cool fucking spells. For me to have suffered all of this nonsense. This room is just begging for an ambush. What's next? A giant rock spider? Luckily, my luck doesn't appear to be that bad yet. Oh, hello. Time to try out my new weapon. I should be more careful. Yep, 
Ish. Uh, mine needs rest soon. Range on this sword ain't great. Neither is the damage, come to think of it. Oh, hello. You showed up just in time, didn't you? You afflicted me with some sort of fucking spell. I hate spellcasters who aren't me. Is that an arcane thingy? Oh god, it is. Look, look, I'm not really... I can't really... I'm not really... Oh my god! Ah, uh, ah, uh, stop doing that and run, please! Ooh! 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 Go any direction that's away from them. Oh, they're following me. Of course they are. Ah, uh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that was a completely different one. That's not even the one I was fighting before. He's being healed. Fuck it. Fists all the way. Yeesh. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Everyone just leave me alone for a minute. <laughs> I just need an hour. I actually need more than an hour. I need a lot more than an hour. Uh, oh boy. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Where do I even begin? <laughs> Tell you what we do. We get the bedroll out and we put it down for a nice fucking snooze. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it got a little scary for a minute there. It did. I'm ready to go back up there and show them what for. They shouldn't have fucked with me, and by shouldn't have fucked with me, I mean they shouldn't have existed in where I want to go. And they will pay the price for it. With them lives. Hello, loser. Oh, yeah, nice try, idiot. Now you're poisoned. Oh, I've got you right where I want you. Yeah, yeah. Bless you. It's fine. Down he goes. I only took a little bit of damage, but I will just eat something. Want to always be regenerating health. That's quite good. Okay. Then there was a spellcaster and that horrible eldritch monster. Oh, there's two spellcasters. Fuck me. Okay, alright. Ugh. That's a little bit tricky to break through, especially since they just keep healing themselves. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get through that. Uh, they literally just keep healing themselves. Okay, I've got an idea. Go behind here. Drop bag. Get ready to fight properly. They're literally just spamming healing spells. I took a lot of damage. One of them has to die, otherwise this will never end. Ugh. Okay, I killed one. That's a start. Quickly, uh, bandages, go. Need healing. Okay. Alright, one's dead. That eldritch horror is a problem. Admittedly. I appear to have forgotten about my presence. I can't see. Okay, thank you. Youch. Uh. Is it poisoned and dying? It seems indifferent, I gotta be honest. 
Stop using ranged attacks and get down here and fight me. Come down here and fight me. It's not fair. You all have spells and I don't. Ah! Foreman had never seen such bullshit. Come over here. Your stupid spells won't get me. And he's just healing them again. I need him to come over here. I cannot realistically win a fight where I'm outnumbered and they can heal themselves. It will not happen. Not unless he... Oh, you're not the one I wanted. Yeah, knock him over. Now beat him. I took a hit, but it's dead. I, I live. It's an arcane elemental, not a horror, but I'm going to call it a horror because it fucking looks horrific. Another bandage for Foreman. So I can regain but a schmeckle of health. I think I can take the caster as I am, though. He's kind of a bitch, and I'm kind of a hero. There he is. Oh, yeah, this is satisfying. Fuck you. Good. All right, that was a lot. That was just a lot, in general. Am I currently healing other than the bandages? Yes, I am. Okay, so healing is still happening. Good. Okay. Right. Well. Okay. Good. Right. Well. Okay. Good. Right. Well. Okay. Good. Right. Well. Okay. Good. Ah. Right. Well. Okay. Uh. Good. I have too many things in my backpack. I cannot help it. I have found many cool things and I wanted to pick them all up. And what concerns me is I get the impression that this is a path in this dungeon. One of many. That looks like a trapped hallway. It just fucking does. I'm going to take it very fucking slowly. Oh god, it's like an actual labyrinth as well. Why couldn't the dev have been lazy and just made this incredibly easy to navigate and quick to get through? But no, they had to make a fucking labyrinth. Looks familiar. Haven't I been here before? Was I on the other side of that, perhaps? I do love the idea, though. This, like, hey, do you want to run, like, a spellcasting build? Do you want to be a wizard? All right, have fun, dickhead. Good luck getting through all this. Are you playing on hardcore and you want to be a spellcaster? Eat shit. Come back here much later. We're only going to let you be a caster once you've played long enough that you've proven that you don't need it. Then we'll let you cast spells. That's a shovel. That's a corpse. Apparently there's a gravedigger not doing their job. Lots of mana stones to mine, but I have neither the space nor a pickaxe to do so. Oh, piss. Oh, fuck you and everything you are. Yeah, we are doing this. Down you go. Oh, fuck. At least the mantises and troglodytes appear to be fighting each other. That looks like it's alive or... No, that's just an iron vein, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. All right. I thought it was like a fucking golem in the floor or something. And there probably is a golem down here somewhere. It wouldn't fucking surprise me. But that wasn't it. So, you know, that's fine. Bearing's okay. This is a dead end. Once again, walking in this direction has not been worth it and has only led me to fight a giant bug. Also, uh, between you and me, uh, to keep this little secret between us, hey, like, you know, just, uh, don't tell anyone, uh, there's no need to do so. I'm a little lost. 
I'm a little bit lost and I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I don't need an axe, but the miner's omulet. Omulet? Yeah, an omulet. Yeah, that's... <laughs> what are we gonna have for breakfast this morning? Oh, I think I'll have a fucking mushroom omulet. Why am I so st Oh, I go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, whoa, hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! What are you doing here? You grumpy looking motherfucker. Yeah, get fucked. Well, that's a sign I'm going in a direction, surely. There's some doofy looking bastard down here. I ate an, an omelette. That should help. I will not be caught by surprise. I will not be caught unawares. I am looking around. I will make sure. If there is a threat, I will identify it and then I will punch it repeatedly until it stops being a threat. Reasonable? I thought so. I found more junk. That's something. I don't need termips. I can't cast spells. That's what I'm here for. Have I finally found a way forward? A knight's corpse. Jamie doesn't have anything good on him other than mineral tea. Actually, to be fair, okay, he has some decent stuff. All right, Mr. Knight, fine. I guess you're all right. For a corpse. These are definitely places I haven't been to before, and that's good. That means we're making progress. Oh my god, the fucking troglodytes have treasure. Gimme, 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 gimme. This is all excellent. Thank you. My bag is a little full. I don't really know what to do about it by this point. I just have too much stuff. And a lot of it is stuff I do want to leave here with. Mine palladium. Oh, I want that. I do. <laughs> but I have a pickaxe. Are you telling me none of the people who came down here came down here on a fucking mining trip? Or are you telling me that the troglodytes don't mine anything? They just sit here with all these priceless rocks around them and do absolutely fucking nothing. God, I hate troglodytes. Ah, oh, they're just the worst. The game really does have a knack for being like, ah, oh, look, there's a side passage and it's being guarded by something dangerous. And you're like, ooh, what's down there? And the game's like, nothing. Smiley face leaving you to grind your teeth to dust as you attempt to then find your way back, which the game will not help you with because there's no map. <laughs> and, oh, by the way, you're running out of food and your max stamina is dropping all the time, and... And Macarena. Oh, oh, boy. Traps are very useful. Yeah, I wish I had one. But I wasted them all on one rock mantis. Didn't realize there'd be more down here. Now, I think the, manta the mana ones are weaker, I think. It's small comfort, they still exist. Adventurous corpse. Alchemy kit, Galbury wine, I'll take that. I need some fucking wine after this. Cerezo Sevish, I think someone in Cerezo wants that. Should go give it to them. There's a lot of magic going on in that room and there's a person standing there. There's a side path. But I'm going for gold, fuck it. Please tell me you're not hostile. I could do with a friend. Oh, thank God. Hello. Welcome. Bow your head in respect, for you have come to the end of a ley line. Your eyes are purple. Were you born on Cadia? The place where the very world itself will pour its power into you if you make room for it. To open yourself to manner is to open yourself to the flow of our world. To use magic is to command the world to obey your desires. Master magic and you master the flow that echoes through us all. It's a big deal. If you are prepared to sacrifice some of yourself for it, and you are prepared to miss many nights of sleep, we welcome you. May the power of mana lead you on the road to success. Yeah, sounds good. Wait, I can gather... I have leyline water. What does it do? What does Leyline water? I don't know. What, 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 why don't I just drink it and find out? Okay, what that do? What that do? You have to tell me. Oh, I just recovers mana. That's still very helpful though. Welcome. Bow your head in respect. Okay, what well, do I just go up there and be the chosen one or something and then get magic for it? Oh, there's another person. There are multiple people in here. Where, what, how do you guys not get murdered by troglodytes? I assume you're somewhat proficient spellcasters. 
Is that a troglodyte? No. Sorry, sir. I called you a troglodyte. I didn't mean to. Perfect. I've always enjoyed coming here. Yeah, I know. You can really feel the mana. I mostly just felt the troglodyte spears. And the bugs. Claws. There's a bedroll. Thank you for the cooking recipe. Magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. You cannot charge into danger and unleash spells as you please. You must plan your attacks and bring enemies into a fight so that is to your advantage. Never forget the spells must be used in the right combination. Okay. How do I make my fists uh, fiery? How do I make fire fists? That's what I want. Hello. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. I do have questions, yes. Mana is the energy that throws through all things. With proper pre <sighs> with proper pre <laughs> with proper preparation, you may use it to force the world to bend to your will by casting spells. Alone, most spells are weak, but when combined or used in the right ritual sequence, their power is made manifest. If you wish to recharge your reserves of mana, having a meal will help. Especially a certain blue vegetable that, honestly, I've gotten a little sick of eating so often. You can also pull mana from lingering souls with the right technique. You can rest to recharge mana, but be warned. Mana can only be maintained with rigid focus. If you sleep, it will take time before you'll be able to call upon your full reserves of mana again. A sleeping mind loses its connection to the real world, after all. Okay. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. Can you teach me spells? To unlock the power of mana, you must first give up some of your mortal vitality to a ley line. A place where Orai's life flows strong like this very chamber. If you wish to become a mage, touch the crystal at the center of the chamber. The holy mission and the kingdom of Levant have their own paths to this chamber as well. So if you wish to return here, you could take their particular path back to get back here in a different manner. Okay. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. Why aren't you wearing a helmet? Don't you care about getting bonked? To cast spells frequently, I advise you to wear light headgear. So it won't interfere with your body's flow of mana. Heavy helmets limit your capacity to cast spells. Okay. All I'm getting is just cast spells, cast spells, uh, cast spells, get beaten up by the jock, cast spells, lose lunch money, cast spells. Alright, I can do that. Been doing it for years, except the casting spells bit. Hello there. So, you have come. I sensed that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. Yeah, I just ran into a few hiccups, you know, <laughs> troglodytes, bugs, arcane elementals. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give. You must sacrifice health and stamina to the ley line, and in return what you gave up will be given back to you as mana. Be careful how much of your life and stamina you give up, because you can never get it back. Oh god, you have to decide how much you give. The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell, the spark. The spark! It may seem small and weak, but when combined with other spells or components, it can produce powerful effects. Cool. Okay. Oh god, I really do have to decide how much I give. For each point, your max health is reduced by 5 and your max stamina is reduced by 5. That seems reasonable. Time will tell if it is, and if it's not enough, I'll just have to come back down here and get more. Do you want to proceed? Yes. I've learned spark. I am glowing with sexual energy. I gained mana. Let's Listen to me. Listen to me! <laughs> now that mana flows through your veins, I can teach you a new spell to welcome you as a mage. Yes, please. Fire sigil or reveal souls? Fire sigil, come on. Sigil of Fire has been learned. Yeah, we're going to lean into that lure shit, aren't we? Yeah. Fire sitting on brushwood. Here we go. Create a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast within this circle. Oh, it requires a fire stone, though. I would assume that it, for instance, Spark would become more effective if I casted it within the circle. Like, it kind of acts as a fire buffing power up for spells. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Eh, thank you, sir. I want to buy something, yes. I do kind of want the scholar gear because it looks like it would go well with the sort of street fiery look if I'm wearing the straw hat. I do need a lexicon, though. 
Kind of do, yeah, a little bit. Let's go, let's learn how to make those things. Firestone. Tummit Potage. Where's my book? Can I... Oh, I put it in my bag. Okay, that's what I did. All right, I assume. Didn't I? Where did the book go? <laughs> or is it equipped now? Oh, it's equipped. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go outside before I cast a spell in case they get upset. So, how do I make a uh, fucking... Well, I think I need to set up my alchemy laboratory to find out, but... Yeah, I do. All right, well, I'll do that in a minute. Let's leave, because... Fuck this place. Actually done with it. My god. Ugh. Maybe uh, the alchemist lady back in town can teach us some spells? I hope so. I'm out. Can I use that to get back there? Is the question. No. That's a shame. But now I'm a punchy guy. And the spell? Nice. It's close range. Okay, good to know. It's not like throwing a little thing. It's... Directly in front of me. Oh, God, I know where I am. Isn't that that fucking bandit fortress? Cool, great. Oh, well, this is a place to be, isn't it? Yeah, they have a boat and everything. What makes them so special? I don't really want to fight the bandits, but I suspect I'm going to have to. There's no realistic way around them. Oh, ah, you kind of caught me out there. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Switch to your fucking fist weapon, you idiot. Oh. Come on, swing. There you go. Yeah, you are a bandit and all. His friends didn't even notice this happened, so that's pretty funny. I would like to try and cast a spell. I'll try casting a spell on this guy, and we'll see what damage it does. Yes, we will attempt this. You know, it did some damage. That ain't even bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. The enemies do appear to take it as their cue to attack if you cast a spell, so yeah. That's something. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Had enough of you. <laughs> Salt. I actually need that. That's actually useful. Thank you, sir. I'll just take all of that and just stupid machete and be on my way. So obviously at this exact moment, my spells uh, fucking suck. But, you know, give it a minute. Oh, that's the point. We should be, we should check the, um, the alchemy crafting list to see how to make fire stones. I need that for my fire sigil. I wish I could dye these these clothes red, and then I really could lean into the whole lure fixer thing, but, you know, maybe there's a red version of it in the world somewhere, or maybe someone's made a mod for that, and if not, then maybe they should. Smiley face, wink, wink. Wink, 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 wink. Make the mod, wink, 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 wink. Well, who said that? Oh, was it, was it the YouTuber? Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> As if I have that level of influence, seriously. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> I should have used the spell to fucking light the campfire. That would have been way more swish. I'm just not very cash money. I don't know how to tell you this. Did I leave my alchemy kit back at home? I think I did because it's heavy. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think I did. That or I'm blind. It could be both. You know, fuck it, whatever. I'll just leave that fire burning there and then the bandits can come over and look at it something exciting in their boring dreary days because they're fucking bandits sitting in a stupid hideout like a bunch of losers a little fucking treehouse no girls allowed bullshit and all their faces are ridiculous oh there's two more bandits over there oh <laughs> this place is awful i just want to go home and there's a chicken god don't even bother you want to fucking go yeah you want to fucking go Yeah, like I don't know how to cast spells. He 
he says as he draws a bow <laughs> and kills it with arrows. I didn't say they were good spells, I just said they were spells. I'm home. I've had quite a couple of days. I think it's been at least two days. Oh, I'm never going outside again. It's all bullshit. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here and cast minor spells for a couple coins and make my living that way. Alchemist lady, please teach me a spell, I implore you. Hello. Hey there. Can you teach me about magic? What is mana? Mana is energy that flows through everything. Magic is something that requires patience to master. Yeah, I'd like to actually, I'd like if you could maybe teach me spells. Can you teach me spells? Chakram spells are necessary to use this offhand weapon. That would be very cool, but I don't have those. Okay, she doesn't know spells, uh, and I don't know how I would learn more spells. So we'll, we'll get back to that, I suppose. <laughs> you want some Ciazo Sevish? Yes. Here, There's your Ciazo Sevish. You gave me Ocean Fricassee. Okay, all right, well, all right, cool, sure. Do you guys know spells? What can I do for you? I made a trip to visit the old hermit in the valley beyond the Ghost Pass. It's a dangerous journey, but his knowledge of magic is vast. To learn the spells of the Cabal of Winds, there is no better teacher. Ghost Pass. He does know spells. These are... Okay, interesting. Oh, so to make fire stones, I just need mana stones and thick oil. Okay. Can I just leave the alchemist kit here and it will just be something I can use? Because it's very heavy, I don't really want to lug it around with me all the time. That's pretty cool. I have no idea if that had more of an effect, but I'm going to assume it did. That's pretty cool, though, that that exists. That's pretty hype. I like it. No idea if it affects Spark or not. I'll probably have to Google some of these things. Bandit Camp, Cierzo, Vendervel Fortress, Ancient Ruins, Bandit Camp, Fort, Baal of Wind Tower, Ancient Ruins, To Hallowed Marsh, To Enmakar Forest. Okay, dude mentioned that the specifically it was Cabal of Wind spells. So maybe the Cabal of Wind Tower would be a place to go. Maybe that's a place to learn spells. Seems to be Kazite stuff specifically, and I see no reason not to learn those spells, right? They seem all right. I also need money because I would like to get a lot of the training out of uh, our friend Edo. I think is that his name? Or oh, you don't? I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, he's got some spells and a passive ability that would increase mana, HP, and stamina, and I could do with that as well. But I reckon that the Cabal of Winds Tower is probably going to be our next destination, just to see if they've got any spells they can help me with. But that's all I've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, uh, that was quite an adventure. That was actually a for realsy dungeon. I thought... I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting it to be easier and shorter. And it was neither of those things. It was long and hard. So that was a whole thing, but we made it through. We did it. We got spells. We've unlocked mana. We've got two spells. Neither of them are particularly good at the moment, but the whole point of spells in this game is you're supposed to use them in combination with each other to get enhanced effects or more power or something. I'm still not entirely sure how it works. Are they supposed to work as like combos or what? I guess we'll find out. I don't know. I presume the idea is that you wouldn't actually be switching back and forth between melee and magic. You would use, you know, like your runic book in con or your lexicon in conjunction with the spells you know to be doing stuff like that. But presumably you guys will give me a few hints and tips on this front, which is always appreciated. And presumably I will learn more as time goes on. But either way, I'm looking forward to seeing more about what's going on. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Lit Potatoes, Proxy, Kamenera, Moa, Heartland, Harak J, Draft, Dresso, Sion Distance, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Majoko, Mymoon, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, Jessicitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Lapa Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster, Q, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny Tier 100 for supporting on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Tower of the Cabal, Cabal Wind, whatever, Wind of Cabal, the, that tower, we're going there next time. I want to see if they've got any spells. After that, I don't know. There are multiple areas around the Chesanese that we could actually explore, because we haven't really been through them yet. I reckon I could clear that bandit camp if I went back there and took another crack at it. You know, the one that killed us previously. 
uh, in our first playthrough. He didn't kill us, but he did kick the crap out of us. I reckon I can take him this time. With spells and fist weapons, I give him a good seeing too. But I don't know. Depends. We'll all see what happens. P feel free to offer your own recommendations for what you think I should do, because it's a big world, and I don't know where I should and shouldn't go, where it is worth my time, where it isn't. Pointers, not outright spoilers if you can avoid it, but like pointers, nudges, stuff like that is all very helpful. But whatever happens next time, hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye.